That's a long one. He's going to the city and pick up his. That's a long one. He's going to the city and pick up his real belt. I'm sorry. Yeah. This one he lets you use for the picks. Replica. Replica. The next picture you're going to see is Mark McSide. Yes. Yeah, so, Mark, you're going to say to Mark, when you're going to win. I'm so happy because the pangarap ko na tupad na ito yung pinapa ito yung hinihingi ko higad mm -hmm. sa buong team ko na maging world champion ng sobrang saya what did it take ba ano yung ginawa mo talaga para manalo ka ah, ginawa ko talaga hard work sa gym every day walang tigil sa training takbo sa bundok sparring at uh, yung dasal mark in a window waiting for the decision what were your feelings did you did you have any worries that the uh, that the, the scores would go the other way or did you think that you would get the victory i think i, I got the victory because uh, i've been always forward pressure throw a lot of punch and then yeah i think i won the fight mm -hmm. I, I, a little bit doubt is he's a champ but I'm a champ now. <laughs> yes. Mark, 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 you were focused on the body the first maybe three, four rounds. Mm. Was that was an effort to slow him down? Yeah, yeah, you got to slow him down. You got to slow him down. I got hurt. I get him hurt in the in the arms, in the right arms. So that's why I got only one using hands. Mm. It's a, that's a big uh, opportunity to me to follow him. Mm. Now you said you're the champ now because he, he wanted to react to a rematch. And you said you're the champ. So he has to go to management to see people. It depends on Shoshan Gibbons of my promoter. We'll, we'll look at everything, man. Uh -huh. You know, we were the mandatory for this. Um, we earned it. We got here. We beat Gary. But the problem is we gave him a rematch. I don't know what year it take place. He only fights once every one year, two years. <laughs> so shit, maybe two years from now we'll give it to him. Yeah, no problem. But coming into this fight, Gary uh, mentioned that he had an injury. Were you aware of what his injury was? Were you aware of the injury? I'm just uh, just following my uh, training camp, training uh, um, boxing flat plan so we just follow that plan. i don't care what is uh, she's talking uh, is, uh, i'm going to clarify gary's uh injury yeah. his injury was mark mcsile he made predetermined <laughs> excuses because he'd been out of the ring he hadn't fought he had no problem with his shoulder he was doubling up on that shot that he was throwing at mark so i love gary he's a lovely fellow but no excuses man he's just, mark beat he's just him fair one, and two, square one, one to two three rounds he's just punching the left and right but i get i get I get him hurt in the Right arms in the yeah. fourth round, so that's why he got hurt. He hurt it during the fight. He wasn't hurt coming yeah. into it. When Mark mm -hmm. punched him, that's when it hurt. Yeah. Did the injury actually throw you off and make you like uh, maybe a little bit overexcited to try and finish him? Yeah, but but his his speed is a is a good footwork, so he overcome my power. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna celebrate now? <laughs> uh, to my family, my my team. So I'm so happy that I'm, my dream do come true. So this is it. I'm a champ now. Filipino food in New York City, baby. Uh, it's coming to see you. Uh, what, 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 what round did you uh, f figure, you know what, I, I, I'm winning this fight, I'm ahead, and you know, this is definitely possible. Every round, uh, every round. Yeah, <laughs> yes. the first that's told me, this is it, this is your dream. Go, go your dream. Punch, punch. What, what, what were your thoughts when you heard the, the two words, and knew? I feel like in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my dream. The green belt. Eight years old, man. Everybody fighters, it's a dream. Yeah. The green belt. Is there anything that Freddie said to you while you were in the corner to you know, the final urge to keep the keep the focus and make yeah. sure? Yeah. Yeah. He's always told me, Mark, this is it. Focus, draw combination, follow through. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Follow the plan, game plan. He wanted a rematch. Is that something that you're interested in? You guys That's all, all I can say is it depends yeah. my promoter. Uh, again, we'll look at it. I mean, yeah. you, you can know, fight anybody now. We, we have to fight Ray Vargas. <laughs> we got a mandatory, but. Keep saying I am a champion. When is the mandatory? Yeah. No, but I heard I read it or something. So, you know, we may not, we may fight another fight and do that fight. Ang masasabi ko sa mga Pilipino fans natin, sobrang salamat sa suporta sa Desal at saka sa pagiging pachampion ko sa suporta ko. Salamat sa rin sa mga. What's that mean? Depende sa promoter ko kasi sila nakakaagad na yung decision ko eh. Mark, you know, you, you helped out your family a lot. Like, you're, you bought your father a bakery after yeah. your last fight. How, um, you said that this fight, if you win, it changes your life. How did it change your life? How do you want to help? I'm gonna buy him a, a new house. Mm -hmm. Buy him a new house. Uh, nice house. Yeah. <laughs> Any words of encouragement that Manny Pacquiao might have provided you? Sorry. Yeah, what Manny said to you, what he called me. Um, I'm, that's my big inspiration to me that he called me because he's my idol since I was a kid, since I was starting boxing. That's why I, he's my idol since I was, I was a kid, uh, since eight years old. I follow him footsteps. So now I become world champion. I, be, I became a champion now.
I'm so happy. Senator Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. If, you look you. At, if you look at Manny's Instagram, Manny called him on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, and Thursday it's on morning. Instagram. They had a nice conversation. Uh, Manny just told him work hard and, and do what you do. And that was uh, it. Thank you for our dear Senator. Thank you very much for the support. And I'm going to give you a lot of support. I'm going to give you a lot of inspiration in the fight. Because she's the only idol I've been born since now. Just for message, yeah. Just for message. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, uh, think, uh, thankful for uh, Senator Mari Pacquiao that he called me. He he gave me uh, more inspiration to my fight. So he gave me my, my my heart strong and my mind. And he said, keep praying and follow your dreams. You're, you're so yes, happy. Sir. You're so proud. Can you speak yeah. to like, you know, like how it feels right there to be a world champion? Yeah, that, that's my uh, dream. It's my dream to become a world champion. Now I became a world champion. I became a world champion. I'm so happy. That uh, this is an opportunity that they give it to me, Shashan, El Heman, PBC Showtime. They give it me a uh, good opportunity, so I'm so happy. And now. especially, he was out of the ring two years with, with all kind of crazy management problems. Yeah, so up and down. Up and down. They never lost focus, he never lost faith. And when he was able to get to the promised land. Yeah, but even more special because the WBC is a founding partner in the Philippines. You know, so definitely, definitely. Everyone's special. With that <laughs> Meron akong legendary coach sa likod ko. How do you feel about being the WBC champion? Like Mr. Gibbons just expressed. Feel like the WBC, not IBF, not WBA, the WBC. Everybody fight, everyone fight, uh, the fighters, yeah. everyone like WBC. Yeah. That's that's their dream yeah. and my dream too. So I'm so happy. Like feel like in heaven, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, when they announced that when Jimmy Lennon was announcing or about to announce the scores, were you confident that you because it was a close fight? I mean, yeah. were you confident that you had won, or what was going through your mind? I you I, I was confident because uh, I'm the one who pressured him, pressured him since the first first round until the last round. So I feel confident that I'm I'm gain, gaining more points than him. What, what did it say about Gary to you? Uh, you know, obviously his arm was hurt. He, he fought eight rounds with one arm. What does it say about him that he was able to make it to the end of the fight? He made it a very competitive fight at the least. What does it say about him that he could do that? Um, he's, he's still a warrior. He's still a good fighter. But uh, that's a uh, I hurt him in the fourth round. The fourth round I hurt him, so that's why he started only using one hand. So that's my. Uh, that's my uh, opportunity to grab him, drag him to the corner. You know, Mark, uh, one thing I, you know, you, uh, you're at the top right now, but there were some humble beginnings for you, like you were telling me that you, uh, you know, grew up uh, working with your family in a bakery, making, mm -hmm. your whole family making $5 a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, can you talk to me about, like, just growing up in poverty in the Philippines? What was that like? Were there times that it was, there were real struggles? Yeah, there's a lot of times. I, I was born in a poor, poor family. My father's only a bakery, and, uh, and my mother's uh, only a vendor. And me, I'm, I'm a vendor of ice cream since eight years old. So that time's very poor, uh, where, where we have uh, one day eat. Only, only, only on one day, one, one eat. So it's difficult to, to th that life, my life before. It's very difficult. So I trained boxing. I saw, I, I saw 2004. I was on three fighting Pacquiao and Barrera. Um, right at that time, and I, I told to myself, I want to be a Manny Pacquiao like him. I want to be a Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> and then I, I saw I saw the fight, and then one one day I saw the gym in the in the in, the, in my my town, and there's a boxing gym, and there's a boxers kid like like me, the age is like me. It's like, oh, I want to be a boxing. I I want to start boxing now. So. I started boxing in uh, 2004, and then I first fight 2005. I lost first fight, second fight. I lost third fight. I lost, and then my father said to me, <laughs> "My father said to me, Mark, stop boxing. You have no future." <laughs> yeah, and, and I thought to myself, "This is my dream. This is my dream. I have a st I'm still a young, still a kid, so I have a future." He said to my mind, and then he he's just supporting me until now. Train, train, and, and then I met my wife. She supported me since uh, half my, half my career. So yes. I'm so happy that uh, she comes into my life. Mm. Yes. Oh, I'll second so that. Like in the ring, you were so focused, <laughs> you were aggressive. What was going through your mind during the fight? Uh, sa pag-aggressive ko, kailangan ko talagang pasukin siya. 
kasi kaya pagpasukin ko siya na one siya eh, nataranta siya pagpasukin ko siya kaya sabi ni Chris Marvin tapos pwede follow through, follow through, straight job, straight job, straight, straight job yan lang, suntukin mo tapos pagpupunta siya sa kaliwa, may hook kaya doon yung ginawa ko nakita mo yung parang medyo natakot na rin siya yung 11 round nito, 10 round, nag-rogue siya job, I saw his eyes like, like do like this so, he got rogue what punch was it that you actually landed that hurt him? Quick. Him? It was five minutes with Freddy. Jab. Guys, anything for Freddy? Jab, straight. Jab. Okay. Yeah, got broke. Got to wrap it up.